Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be watching Midsummer. Oh yeah, baby. Some of you may know I did a poll the other day and this was the most requested out of Saw 5. I'm so sorry Saw fans, I do apologise. Hey man, you hey, just, if you're upset by this decision, you've already got yourselves to blame mate, alright? That's what I'm saying. Saw 5 and Train to Busan. Now those, those two films will be coming at some point, but today we are going to be focusing on this one. I actually have no idea what this is about. I, I, I assume it's a horror. I assume. Because all I know is that on any one of, I'm pretty sure my horror movie commentaries, people comment that they want to see me watch this. So I'm assuming because of that, it's a horror. I, I actually don't know. True to tradition, I have waited until night time to do it. It is like, it's actually past midnight. I shouldn't be doing it really, but here we are. As usual, I have a little bit of the old Dutch courage. Didn't even drink any. Didn't even drink any. I'm a fraud. Are we ready to see Tyler his pants? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So that's what we're here for. That's what. Well, that's what you're here for, probably. You, you freak. You, yeah, you dirty, dirty, dirty. I've seen a cast list for this, and I'm quite impressed by the cast list. So, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm not going to read anything. I'm not going to read the intro, the description. Oh, we're going in blind, mate. We're going in blind. Now, mate, this is going to be the only horror on my channel where I keep my cool the whole time. The whole time. You heard me. You heard me, mate. I'm confident. I'm confident, mate. Oh, I don't like it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Immediately. Immediate discomfort. The music, the skull, the sun, the juxtaposition. Suspicion. Interesting. I swear to God, if something pops up, mate. Oh, do you know what? I'm fucking out. <laughs> nah, thank you. No, I'm good. I'm good. That's rude. The Arter Resonance. Imagine saying it like that, like that's on purpose. Is that on purpose? Surely, because you record those, right? Imagine being like, right, this is going to be great. I'm going to record this. Uh, it's going to be a really fun one, guys. It's going to be a fun one. Just fucking keep your pants on. Right. Why would I say that? <laughs> the Arter Resonance. What the fuck? Make it playful. Yeah, do you know, I'm looking forward to this because I do actually, after seeing Black Widow and Florence Pugh in that, I was really impressed with their performance, I'll be honest with you. Like, it was just good. It was just a good performance. That's decidedly final. So I was calling just to see if you you still wanted to hang out later. Did we talk about doing something tonight? What's happening? Okay. I love you. All right. Bye. I have no idea where this film is going to go. I'm always leaning on him. What if I'm scaring him off? Bullshit. Like she always does. And it okay. That was significant, clearly. Is there going to be some level of like, is she imagining things because of drugs? I don't know what that drug was, I missed it. There's already a theme of, am I misinterpreting this? Am I overthinking this? Am I doing this? Am I doing, do you know what I mean? So I wonder if we're going to get, I feel like that's going to be a big plot point, maybe later on. We'll see. Oh, buddy. I feel like there's going to be a whole thing later on of like, is this in her head maybe? You don't want her back. I'm right. Eyebrows. Do you know what? I actually think he's a really good actor, so I should probably learn his actual... Will Poulter, I do know his name. Learn his name. Haha, <laughs> fucking got it, mate. Fucking got it first try. <clears throat> Sorry, I thought that was aggressive. I apologise. Remind you again that you've been wanting out of this stupid relationship. Ah, oh, shit. It's not in a red, is it? This seems very toxic masculinity. You could be getting that girl pregnant right now. Jesus. About all the Swedish women you can impregnate in June. Okay, guys. Why are they talking about impregnation? Why have they gone straight to impregnate... Is this a thing? Oh, when I get her pregnant, what do you mean? Why is that your first port of call, mate? Say hi first, say hi. Call her therapist and not you. It's literally abuse. She's abusing you. She's abusing you? Because she, what? Because she wants a supportive relationship? What the fuck? Hey. Babe. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Those are the parents. Oh, what? Oh, that's heavy, man. See though, right? I'm sorry, maybe it's insensitive, but like now my brain is going because I feel like it's a horror. It's like, which one's coming back? All of them? Don't, don't you fucking do it. Don't you jump scare me, bitch. This better be a title card. Okay, good. It's fine. Never mind. Starts fucking hard, doesn't it? Like, don't ease me in gently. Just impregnate her. Like, what the fuck was that about, by the way? The what? I feel like... I was just going to go to that party for four. I feel like this guy, considering that first conversation that we saw him in, is not a good partner to see her through this situation. Oh, it's going to be a whole thing, isn't it? It's going to be like, oh, yeah, but I couldn't break up with you after that happened, oh, even though I wanted to. <laughs> Fuck. 
Fucking spice it up, lads. Jesus. Like, I get it. I get it. They all don't like her. They're trying to exclude her. Whatever. But Polter, man. Use those eyebrows for good. Come on. They're too powerful. Sweden. I had no idea. Because I told you I wanted to go. But I didn't know you were going. I just decided today. Yeah. You already have a ticket. <sighs> this fucking piece of shit. I told you I wanted to go to Sweden. Dude, don't double down, mate. Look, Something to I don't do mind it. you going. I just wish right. you told me. Exactly. Well, Communicate. Well, just, maybe I should just go home. What? No. But I can kind of see what this. This is really. This is really well written. It's a really natural conversation. It's, it's like it's what you expect to see. This is. It feels real. Like this is the kind of conversation you sometimes might have. Because what she's asking is totally reasonable. Like it's like just communicate with me. But the way that he's gonna spin it, I think later on is gonna be something like yeah. You know, you make it so hard to tell you, blah, blah, blah. She's just doing the thing that she does again. Oh, it's so tiring. It's so, uh, just because he fucked up and he didn't communicate. Right, this happens all the time. And then the girl is painted out quite often. Not all the time, but quite often as the, the crazy one. And it's like, no, the guy just wasn't thinking. Or one person in that relationship just wasn't thinking and the other person just wanted them to communicate. It's very kind of, it's a very down to earth issue in relationships, I think. And I don't need an apology. I don't. I just wanted to talk about it. That's all. She's been totally reasonable. I really think I should just leave. No. I'm He's just trying to get out. It I'm really not. feels like you are. Well, then what? I'm sorry. I'm so I just got no. confused. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I... Don't apologize. Hey, it's not please, you, mate. Come on. You're you're being genuinely open and reasonable and honest, and he's just being like, I want to get out of this situation. I just want to leave. I just want to get out. I don't like this. I don't like it. I'm fine. I think it's great that you're. She's going. See, mm, see, this is the thing. Pause. And it's difficult, isn't it? Because it's a it's a it's a nuanced emotional place that they're in right now. Because she's also obviously just gone through what she's gone through. She's probably to a certain extent scared of being alone. And to her mind, she wants to be with him, right? There's no issue. Because I just saw her, like, backtrack. Even though she's got a completely reasonable response to what happened at the party and reasonable, I wouldn't call them demands, but reasonable kind of... It's a reasonable question to be like, well, can you just communicate that in future? I don't have a problem. Just just let me know that you're going to go. Ah, and she's backtracking now because she kind of wants to, I guess, because she's like, oh, I don't want to, like, piss him off. I don't want to be angry with me because I can't... Maybe because she can't handle that right now, which was totally, totally... um. A totally natural thing to be feeling as well that's totally valid but it's just a shame to see because she's absolutely spot on with what she's saying it's him being a fucking arsehole about it she's not actually going to come but i invited her just to not make it weird oh she's coming okay that's great <laughs> oh my god these guys are such arseholes like hey man look look pause by the way if you want to be this guy who like goes to um uh where they're going <laughs> forgotten already sweden Fucking somewhere. If you want to go abroad and fuck people and, you know, have a good time in the way that you want to have a good time, absolutely fine. Do your fucking thing. Live your life. Don't mindlessly go around impregnating people, by the way. That's not what I'm saying. If you want to do that, that's fine. But they're clearly, he's clearly just split up with, uh, this is the thing, like, because a lot of people would be like, well, you can't split up with her after that. But like, dude, if you're going to do this to her, this is like emotional manipulation and it's very unhealthy manipula manipulation in a relationship you clearly want out get out because you're gonna hurt her if you stay there you just are if you want to do your own thing that's absolutely fine but do not bring danny into it because she's vulnerable um she's hurting because all you're gonna do is hurt the person more and make a, an already difficult situation more difficult eventually so offer offer that allow her to sit down hey danny do you want to see do you need some water? Bit of water? Do you want some water? Do you want a tea? Do you want a coffee? Do you want something? Basically what I was saying boils down to, right, if you want to be a shitty guy, be a shitty guy, but just be a shitty guy over there and don't hurt anyone. Do you know what I mean? Well, I suppose that's, you know, they're not mutually exclusive, but... What was that? Yeah, we're a, we're a small community. <laughs> oh, buddy. I don't like the sound of that at all. Oh, wow. I see what you mean about the pageantry. Oh, that doesn't look good. Someone's getting strung up. Same symbol. What symbol? Where? Runic alphabet, so... Oh shit. Oh shit. Warning signs, mate. Warning signs. Queen. <laughs> what? Beautiful. Blink, mate. Please blink. You know, I'm very, very glad you're coming. Oh no. Oh no. I think it's very good you're coming. Don't say it. I mean, even... Oh, I... Uh... I was so very sorry to hear about your loss. Can't even imagine. Look less turned on, though, when you say it. <laughs> Interesting. Mm. Yeah, see, all these unnatural 
camera angles and the kind of uh, not unnatural but unsettling camera angles I suppose like we had the um, the shot a minute ago when we were looking out the plane window and then there was just that like two seconds of outside of the plane shaking shaking shaking, shaking. you know it's almost a serene serene picture unsettling music which is kind of like okay okay whatever but it's it's a nice view so whatever and then like suddenly you're outside the plane it's like oh, and then you have the camera there going upside down i fucking see what you're doing film mate you're not fooling me you ain't fooling me buddy so these are younger people from my village they're also returning from their trips outside why would you say younger people like that this guy is sus i thought he was the nice one because he was talking to her but then it gave oh, it fucking quickly turned mate it quickly turned i wonder if the the guy in the blue t-shirt has brought them all over there, and he's the only one in on it. No, wait. No, no, you go ahead, no, please. No, I'll wait. I can't tell if this guy is doing stuff because he feels like he has to do stuff, like he should do stuff, or whether he actually kind of does care about her a little bit, and how influenced he is by his friends. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Babe, I'm, babe, I'm, it's, no. I'm ready. No, don't it's okay. Worse. I don't. See, this is nice. This is nice from him. That's what. That's what's making me question it. <laughs> oh fuck that shit. How long was I asleep? We found you here like six hours ago. But you know what? Good on them for like pitching their fucking camp around her. You know? That's nice. Jesus, pal, where are you taking us? Ah, there we go. Yeah, so the other guys don't know where he's taking them. I don't like the look of this fresh hell. What is it about people dressing in all white that freaks you out? Because it does. It fucking does. Seriously, man. Like, that's how we usually depict angels. A lot, a lot of the time. A lot of the time in our imagery. Not being funny, if an angel actually came up to me, it was an angel, it was fine, it was a good thing. And they came up to me in all white, I'd be like, like, fucking stay away, Beelzebub. <laughs> the tranquil and majestic Horica. He looks way too serene. How do you know all these people? These are my family. Oh no, fat. Oh man, he's, he's totally just roped them all in. Oh, and these guys just went for it. Hook, line and sinker, shit. There's a cross, there's a cross, there's a cross. What did I say about people getting strung up? What is it? Thank you. Strawberry? Oh, thank, wow. you. thank you. Oh. Don't take the thing, mate. What is it? More importantly, what's laced in it? Mr. Dyer, born on the exact same day as me. The exact same? That's some culty shit, mate. Nah. <laughs> Sorry. No, right? I take one look at that, first of all, and I'd be like, no, fucking, I'm out. I'm out, first of all. Second of all, right, if I had this lady coming up to me, I had this lady coming up to me, she just, you know, chatting away, absolutely fine, no problem at all, mate. I'm at ease. Well, not really, because I'm fucking look at this shit, right? But then she, she, she walked away like this. No, mate. Fucking no. Then a little bit more no on top. Hmm? Do you know what, though? A little bit of me can't wait to discover the absolute batshitness that is about to ensue. Oh, welcome. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Welcome home. Oh. Home? Hell has an immaculate sense for people. Oh, no. He's a fucking scout. We do this as a tribute in respect of Ymir and because of the nature's... Her, 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 her Sounds like bullshit, mate. Disqualities. That made no sense. What? The Saki saints do the same thing in Brajbhumi. So? <laughs> Shut down. So whatever you need, yes. <laughs> so. Just tomorrow, the official ceremony begin and- Ceremony for what? They're not asking enough questions for me. Yes. Thank you. That guy has a very red face. Oh, that's what you noticed. That's what you noticed. Oh, okay, sure, 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 sure. Fucking run, mate. Fucking run. Who's getting sacrificed today, then? Glad me so much, Alisamans. Bless you. Sorry, is that rude? That might be rude. I apologize. And happy midsummer. It has been 90 years since our last great feast. Oh, they keep doing... 90 years before our next. 90 days, midsummer. it's all aligning. And let our nine-day feast commence. Of what? Skull! Skull! Ah! Little bit of Vikings in there. Fucking hello. Fuck it, hey, what am I doing? Why, why would I do that? Why would I do that? I've got a fuck... I've got a drink. I've got... I've literally got a drink. Skull. In the heather. How are none of them getting, like, spider sense? Like me, chill out. Why are you nervous, mate? <gasps> what? Speak up. Hey, tell us. Just tell us you tell us your problem. <laughs> Big note from me. You guys should join. Oh no. I'm That's so weird how they did that. It almost seems normal and nice from this side of it. Like the the camera change there. 
it seemed like a bit, it made me feel uneasy and it made me feel like, oh, very culty. And then it swapped sides to this oh. angle here. And it all, like the music, did the, did the music change or the music kicked in in a different way? And it almost felt like a nice meadow with music playing, almost like from like something like the Lord of the Rings type, type of vibe, type of feel, right? Which... Can anyone just join in? Oh, you're an American, just jam yourself in there. Because <laughs> that's what they do best. Jam it in, Sandra. Why would I say Sandra? Uh, oh my gosh, Pele. It's just something I do for birthdays. He's a little bit obsessed with her, isn't he? Oh, shit. What alphabet is that from? I do feel like, actually, I keep talking about how creepy it all looks, but it does look kind of nice, I suppose. And you would. I feel like you... Okay. There was a part of me thinking, like, no one nowadays would fall for this shit. It was, it's so obvious when you get there. But it's like, yeah, but I'm sitting down for a, a film that I kind of feel like is a horror type of a thing. But, like, if you were actually there, like, here with the, the runes, you you would kind of be... Like, I would do that. I would be like, oh, tell me more about these runes. Like, what what's 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 the history with these? Tell me about them. Even though this guy's like, mm, you know, well, you put them under your pillow and it, it, there's power and all this stuff. And, I'm like, me as the viewer watching this film, I'm like, well, fucking no, thank you, sir. But... If you were there, you would be like, oh, interesting. Tell me about that. That sounds interesting. Like, tell me about these myths and legends and um, the, uh, all the all the uh, superstitions that, you know, uh, all, all, the, all the knowledge that people had those days, you know, however many years ago. Like, tell me. I'm interested. And, and I do find that interesting. And, and I feel like, you know, um, it's been established that some of these guys are academics. So they would be interested. And so it does kind of feel... It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't feel weird. It, like, if you were there, I, d I don't feel, I don't feel like it would be as weird as it's coming across as I'm watching the film. No, no, I, I meant that Connie and me had just become friends. We, we decided to be friends and now they're engaged. Guy in the white shirt sounds a little bit bitter. It's uh, like a sacred temple, but no one's allowed in there. Oh no, what's in the fucking triangle? Don't ignore the bed. It's a bear. Yeah, fiance is getting the vibes. Good on him. Ain't gonna save him, but good on him. Oh, hello. That is a vagina. Stop presenting it as a nice thing, film. I don't know if that was a nice love story there, mate. I'll be honest with you. And then finally, from 54 to 72, you become a mentor. What happens at 72? Good question. You saw that too, right? Oh, put your penis away, mate. Oh my God, I wanna give her a bath. What do you mean, give her a bath? Where does his mind go? A bath? Are you gonna get a back, mate? Are you gonna do it properly? Like, not properly like he's thinking, but like, I'm like, you know, like fucking cleaner, mate. Happy birthday to you. He remembered. Happy birthday to you. Go on, mate, you got it, you got it, you got it. You got... I tell you what, though, that does look like a dry piece of cake. Man, I'm just waiting for the penny to drop, man. Something's gonna happen, like, oh. <laughs> You know something's gonna happen. You just don't quite know what fucked up shit is gonna happen. Just the the tease, the teasing me, the teasing me at this point. Just just cut my bollocks off. What are you gonna do? Like, wait, like fucking just do the thing. Do you know what? I'm actually quite surprised that Will Poulter's character isn't like this. Is bullshit. Can we just go. Oh, Mama and Papa weird. Glad you could join. King and Queen peculiar. Mister and Mrs. What the fuck? Everyone there needs a wank. All of them, you could tell. They're fucking tight, mate. They're tight. Fucking gagging. Hey. Are they coming? Well, someone's got to. <gasps> That's a calm face, mate. Yeah, she's happy with it. He's trying, but he's not quite there yet. He'll get there, don't worry about it. Nope, he got there. She's surprised. <laughs> Mm, mm mm Drink up all that a jacket, no. I'm gonna stop. Tie to stop. Tie to stop. Why is she upset? Oh, is this the killing ceremony? Like, are they past 70? Are they 72? I'll tell you what, she, she looks pretty good for 72. be honest with you, like, she's done well. She's done well there. Her eyebrows are fucking 26. Jesus. I'm kind of approaching the point in the film where, like, we're about an hour, just over an hour in, into a two and a half hour film. We're like, we're halfway through. Nothing's really happened yet. I kind of want something to happen, a little bit. We're building to something, I can tell, but it's very slow build up. I also haven't been scared this whole time, which is fine. You know, I guess to a certain extent, I'm assuming it was a horror for, for the reasons that I kind of said, but 
Maybe that's not the whole, maybe that's not the genre, right? It's very ominous so far, but maybe maybe the first half is just build up, and then we get to the the, the crazy shit. Because this doesn't look good. Simba. I do seem to remember when this film came out that the a lot of people I think people it was mixed, right? I, I, maybe maybe I'm making that up, but I feel like the the reviews were kind of mixed a little bit. Uh, not not like the actual reviews, but like what people were, were saying and thinking. Um, and from from talking to people, I just feel like shit. Oh no! Don't go silent. Fuck. <gasps> oh. Oh fuck! Just showed her whole face coming off. I thought that was gonna happen, but I was like, are they gonna do it in front of these guys? They gonna ask some questions, mate. It's part of the ceremony. Part of the ceremony. I'm surprised that the guy was like, it's part of the ceremony. I would have been like, do you know what I mean? Because you you maybe lose some of these guys. I thought they might be like, oh fuck, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, even though it was supposed to happen. Being bold and honest about it, like, no, part of the ceremony. That was supposed to happen. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. No! Okay. Oh no. Oh. F well, the guy went feet first. That's not how you do it. Surely. I saw him do that and I was like, okay, up to you, mate. So they all felt it then. They all connected somehow. It's a long, long, long observed custom. Custom? Yes. It's fucked. Has just reached the end of their Horga life cycle. Wow. Pause. This is so interesting that they've taken this tack, because I feel like any, like a lot of other films would have taken that, and these guys would have been like trying to hide it or figured out some kind of excuse for it or whatever. Like they're just being like bold about it. They're like, no, 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 this is fine. This is absolutely fine. This is like this is how it's always been. This is why. But that's interesting. I'm, I'm like I'm curious. Okay, play. We view life as a circle. It's like it's like okay. So sorry, sorry. I keep pausing, pausing, pause. Sorry, I keep pausing, but. It's interesting because they're trying to almost like explain a different way of living. Because um, what's his face was explaining before the guy who's uh, yeah one of the guys was trying to explain before about this life cycle, and you are this at this part of your life uh, when you hit eighteen and to thirty six you're this and then after thirty six to whatever you're this and then and then blah 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 and then and then you die, right? They clearly have some very strong feelings about how life should be lived, and what it is to live and to die and your purpose when you are here and it's not even that they're trying to like force it they're not i think that's what i'm trying to get i think that's what my yeah i think that's what i find interesting about that is they're not trying to force it on these people they are just like no 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 this is absolutely fine this is fine like this is how it's this is how it's always been this is this is what we think and this we think this is good and fine and right and uh, it's just a really interesting approach because i feel like other films that do this kind of thing are very much working with a uh, subterfuge you know it's subtle and they're almost trying to hide it from the, the the protagonists they're trying to kind of insinuate the protagonists into their own shittery <laughs> in a way that the protagonists don't realize but this is very overt which is it kind of puts you in a in a place where it's like mm, okay fuck okay this is okay fucking tell me what's what's gonna happen here then like like let me hear you out i want to hear you out which is a, an interesting place to find myself. I am so sorry I didn't warn you better. Dude, you failed with your warning duties, mate. Yeah, it's not good for her seeing that. Just take some time yourself, okay? Oh, okay, mate, just let her go. Yeah. Uh, Danny, just go take time for yourself, you'll be fine. Okay, go back there. Fucking hell, mate, yeah, boyfriend of the year. You fucking dry cake, that's dry cake. I've been thinking a lot about my thesis. I've decided I'm gonna do it here. And I wanted to tell you first, just so it didn't seem like I wasn't telling you. That's how that works, yeah. Do not fuck me. Find your own subject. Yeah, and with this guy. I'm gonna do my thesis here. Oh, you bitch. If you're gonna do it here too, I'm open to collaborating. This guy's superpower is masking shittiness and underhandedness with a sheen of goodwill. And no, I'm the good guy. He manages to cloak all his all of his bad actions in ways that kind of that make at least to himself feel that he probably thinks he's the good guy when he's not i invited my friends because this is a once in a lifetime thing and i wanted to share it that is a weird take buddy yet i was the most excited for you to come excuse what here smell this no don't smell it mate don't you fucking smell. no i'm been in his asshole <laughs> oh my god sorry i don't know why i said that i just am uh, mate 
just very weird, right? I'm in a weird place. But I have always felt held by a family, a real family. Double-edged, implying that her family wasn't. And you deserve it. God, so much gaslighting in this film, man. Oh, hello, fucking hell. Warn me, Jesus. In crush face, that's crush face. How do you like face tied? I scrambled. Scrambled, obviously. Why, why, why'd you ask? I'm trying to keep an open mind, though. Try again, mate. It's cultural. We stick our elders in nursing homes. I'm sure they find that disturbing. <sighs> Like, I, I, right, okay, so that's an interesting point that he just brought up, pause, because it, it, it's interesting, isn't it, right, right? We all have, obviously, you know, around the world, there are different cultures, we're all humans, but we have different cultures, we have different ways of dealing with things, different ways of um, uh, coping and, and living, and um, different systems within that that um, help us govern ourselves and, and, and teach us how to behave and act in a society, whatever society that might be, and whatever. I get it, but that's no excuse for cultures that might have things wrong. And I get the question, the question is like, yeah, but why do you think that, right? You think that because you live in that society and you, and you live this way. And it's like, yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine. But you know, there, there has to be a certain point where you kind of, you all sit down and you just decide for yourselves what you think, you know, and it, and it, and it is, it's a thought exercise essentially because you kind of have to think, right, okay, well, what about, what things about my culture are peculiar? You know, forgetting for a moment that I was brought up and raised in that. Like, for example, okay, so hot take, for example. I'm English. I was raised, you know, we have uh, a monarchy. We have this British pride. You know, we come from a place, our history is essentially colonialism, right? It's very, like, proud British, you know, proud. You know, we had the empire and all this stuff. And we have the queen and God save the queen and all this stuff. And, and you know, national pride. My opinion on that, um, patriotism is that it divides. At its core, patriotism div divides. It's a, it's a cultural thing that we as, as English people have that I think is quite toxic. You know, and, and you see it, you see it in recent history with Brexit. It divides us because we think, no, 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 we're, we're better than, than everyone else outside of our borders. You know, we're British pride, we're, we're better, we're, we're, we're proud, we're strong, we're, we're the good ones, the British ones. And yeah, yeah, we care about them, but like, we come first. Patriotism, the definition essentially of patriotism is everything within these borders is what we protect and what is okay. Anything outside of that, nah, we'll do our best, but, but if it comes down to the wire, fuck them. Fuck everything else outside of that. It divides. It divides. As human beings, we divide ourselves with patriotism. We, we owe it to ourselves to examine our cultures and what is okay and or not okay, but what, what should we do and what shouldn't we do or... Or, or, or what's okay with you yourself, right? Like, don't get drawn into a culture if you don't necessarily agree. And it's like, well, well why don't you agree? Just tell me, like, let's talk about it. So I, I get what he's saying. There is a kernel of truth there. But I feel like the context is, is that he is using that as... A, sorry, I'm just talking... I'm going on about this. But I, just, I found it interesting that I'm engaging with it because um, it's bringing up an, an interesting idea. You know, there's this, this uh, self analysation of, of, of our cultures and, and, and different cultures. And should we judge cultures so quickly? Maybe they have it better than, than we do, whatever it is. There's still an hour and 12 left to go. Maybe maybe this community is going to persuade me that this is better than what we have. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. So maybe, maybe he's got a point. Maybe, maybe we should. They just do it differently. So maybe we should just calm down a little bit and be like, well, we're fucking listen. We'll see. I'll reserve judgment for that. But I just, I think there's, a, there's an interesting kernel of something in there. Yeah, I'm getting uh, vibes of more uh, uh, psychological horror than anything else. There's no kind of, there's there's not so much of the, the jump scary stuff, the scary scary stuff, you know, like the supernatural. It is more kind of like, it's grounded in humanity. A little bit more, a little bit more than I, I kind of maybe thought it might be. That's not what you want, is it? I wake up and someone's staring at me, I'd be like, well, did you, did you fucking cut that out, buddy? Uh oh. What's gonna happen, man? Is he gonna grow another penis? Like, what's that, what, what, what's that mean? Surprise, they're still there. Well, no, where's her fiance? He's gone, he's gone. He's just, accept it, it's fine. It's not fine, but we'll accept it. Uh, John drove him to the train station. Oh, he fucked. Why would he just go without me? He, he, he wouldn't, wouldn't do mate. that. Exactly. Uh, do you know what, mate? I'd start walking. But we do respect the incest taboo, so we often need to invite outside people. Oh, um, oh no, that's not a fun fact. Just keep drinking the beer, Tyler, you'll be fine. Did you not say goodbye? Oh, we're gonna find him at some point, aren't we? Oh, <laughs> they're cooking. Did they, did they eat him? Are they gonna eat him? Is she gonna like get bon appetit and there's a penis? Why do I keep going penis? I need to stop doing that. I do, I do, you're right, you're right. I do need to stop doing that. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. She's so beautiful. I was right, wasn't I? 
Oh, they are absolutely feeding that fucker to them. Do you know what? As long as I assume they're all fucked now, we're going to be fine. This is going to be fine. Ah, oh, there's... What the fuck? Ah, oh, what's in the drink? What's in... What, what? No, 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 no. You will come with me? Mate, be, sus be suspicious. I'll show you. Okay. Show, show what? Ask questions, mate. Ask questions. I'll be back, I guess. She's gonna show me. You ain't coming back, boy. Hey, can I uh, borrow another sleeping pill? Oh, is it just a sleeping pill that she took at the beginning of the film? Maybe. What are you doing? Close the door. We're not supposed to be in here. Oh, no. Oh, God. What? Hi. And if he did take that book, I just pray you understand. We don't associate as friends of his. Oh, Jesus. He cut ties pretty fucking quick, didn't he? Okay. Oh, he shouldn't be. Yeah, what are they feeding them? What are they feeding them? Because that's suspicious. I mean, I did say immediately, like, they were giving something as soon as they go, oh my gosh, she's okay. wearing the thing. No, oh, never wear the thing. They are prepping you, mate. Can I ask what this is exactly? It's, um, tea she for the competition. Hesitation. Hesitation. You dirty liar. Well, she's fucked. No. Oh, it's all over. There's a black one. There's a black one. Of course there's a black. Of course there's a black one. That's the same thing, mate. You've been fucking duped. Som står ensam kvar. You've been fooled. The black one has 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 literally just fucking fooled you, mate, into thinking that you had all the power, but you're just doing the same thing. Did they burn the bear? <sighs> Unforgivable. That is one doctor's office. You don't want to be fucking finding yourself in that, I tell you. You have been approved to mate with her. Of course. Of course he has. I think I ate one of her pubic hairs. <coughs> Sounds probably right. No, that's not what you want to hear, though. Don't confirm. You find, like, a little bit of hair in your food. Kind of looks like a pubic, just like, nah, denial, denial. Of course, of course, because that's... I would. Hey, man, I don't want to admit that shit. It's not about admitting it, but it's admitting it to myself that I ate that. Do you know what I mean? Or oh, I ate it anywhere near my mouth. Someone like comes up to you, like the chef comes up to you and like has a look at it and goes, like, ah, I tell you what, I tell you what, Tyler, that's the fucking pube, mate. I apologise. That's, uh, don't know, uh, <laughs> don't know how I got that in there. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Did that girl just throw, hang on, I gotta go back. Pale drive into her stomach and she just threw up immediately. I tell you, man, that's impressive. Oh, this is gonna be horrif horrifying, isn't it? She's gonna win it, and it's gonna be just be death. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. For you? I tell you what, mate, that has a bushel of pubes in there. Spring water with the special properties? No. No. <laughs> Come on. Breaks down your defences. To what? For the influence. Tip it out. Tip it out, mate. You know what? Um, I'm worried I'll have a bad trip. Literally tip it out. Covertly, just. I mean, don't snort, that's weird. No, idiot. I'll tell you what, she's picking that shit up fast, man. What did she win? Sinister tones. Are our May Queen. You won! See, these guys think it's a great honour and it's amazing, but. Oh, is it just a picture? Amazing, great. Every ID badge ever. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, buddy. Oh, you need to just excuse yourself. What is that? Oh, I don't like that at all. Do you know what? No, I'd, I'd be. I'd take it in my stride. Ah, uh, peasants. Peasants. <laughs> Refill my cup. Oh, I need. I need to dream bigger. Fuck. Dude, the last people that did this jumped off a cliff. Like she's drugged. I don't blame her. She's to she's absolutely drugged, but you know. They're both drugged up to shit, man. They're gone. Skull! Skull! No, don't get involved. A fucking no, no, don't get me involved. You are the family now, yes? What? No, sorry, for me, she's got to work on it. I want your cock face. She's got to work on that. Yeah, yeah, spread me your cock over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely going, innit? 
Oh yeah, do you know what? I don't think I finished my thought from earlier, actually. When this came out, I'm pretty sure, um, general feeling towards it, and what I was hearing from friends and that kind of thing, was that it was mixed. It, like, people weren't really sure whether they liked it or not. Some people really liked it, some people were like, oh, that's not for me. I can kind of see why it wouldn't be for mainstream audiences so much. Or like, it wouldn't maybe connect as well to the mainstream because it's like, it is quite slow. I'm enjoying what's there. I Like, I am kind of enjoying what's there, I'd say. It very much depends how it ends, I think, for me, because not much is happening. It's very kind of, I don't even know if I'd say it's that unnerving, to be honest. Like, I would compare it, and I think that's what I got the comments on Hereditary, which I found genuinely disturbing for a lot of reasons. Go watch that video, <laughs> fucker. Whereas I'm not getting the same feeling with this. It's, it's still kind of, I would still classify it as horror. The biggest thing that's happened has been the jumping off the cliff stuff and the hammer in the guy's head. Honestly, the through line that I thought was going to be a bigger thing throughout the film, focused on more, was uh, Florence's, the tragedy that happened at the beginning of the film and, and the trauma that came with that, going through it. I thought it was going to be a bigger deal. Like we have seen Florence's character get affected by it. We've got half an hour left, right? They've not fixated so much on the horror of that or expanded on that so much. She's kind of got little trauma spells, which are valid and understandable, but it's like, other than that, it's like, what are you doing with that? I don't feel like the film's done a lot with that. We've seen, obviously, the other guys, like uh, Will Poulter and the other guy that was doing the research. We really see Will Poulter's character, like, properly go out. I guess maybe we're gonna find out what happened to them, perhaps, later on. That'd be good, I hope we do. But even the stuff that happened with those guys, we don't really know. It's all still very mysterious. Even like, um, so this is a two and a half hour film. We're two hours in. I still don't really quite know what's going on. I can I can imagine a lot of people were, were this far in being like, what what am I here for? What What's happened? Like, okay, yeah, it's kind of unnerving. This is kind of weird, all this stuff, right? I can, you know, you can see them feeding them stuff and it's like, fucking don't drink that. Ah, oh, shit, they drank it, ah. It's very, um, uh, unassuming. I think the, the things that are happening are very unassuming. It's not very big. It's not very kind of, do you know what I mean? Which is what the mainstream, I think, uh, clutches for. Flash, bang, oh, mm, big horrifying things. Oh, oh, that's a ghost. Oh, shit. Do you know what I mean? That kind of, and none of that's happening. It's all very subtle. It's all very kind of like psychological. It's all very like slow build, slow burn. For me, I'm reserving judgment until I see the, the final half hour, but I can see perhaps why people might not have enjoyed or connected with the film as a whole. Because with Hereditary, I think it was laced throughout. Whether it was the human horror or the supernatural horror, it was there throughout in very affecting ways, at least to the audience. And I don't think it's necessarily, I don't think this film is quite hitting the same spots. And hey, look, they're different films, that's absolutely fine. But I don't think there's anything there in this film to replace that. For me, and I'm stopping now because of this, but I think for me the, the, the next half hour, the last half hour, are gonna either make or break whether I think this film is good or not. For me, that's where I am at. He's not a pleasant character. I don't think he would have helped much anyway, but he is also incapacitated, I'd say, at this point, so. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say for me, like, that's where I'm at. Like, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by the film so far, and that's why it depends on how it ends. Like, I'm intrigued, but if that intrigue goes nowhere, if it's not satisfied, for me it would leave a little bit to, to be desired. Breathe in. Oh, it's just gonna be vagina, isn't it? No, okay, good. Oh, wait, okay, wait and see. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a lot of vagina, that's a lot of vaginas. Oh, he is drugged out of his face. I don't feel he's feel like he's very culpable in this moment. Oh, full, full frontal. That's a penis. Are they doing that the whole time? That's distracting, man. If you want me to do it, just let me, like, that's not helping me. Like, let me work. I can't concentrate if there's like fucking nine vaginas around me. Like, yeah, that's how I feel, mate. That's how I feel. Oh, that's not a good face to be looking at. Like, she kind of looks a little bit scared as well. I mean, I would guess if it's her, her first time, fair play to her. Like, absolutely fine. Don't, don't, don't oh, okay, he's gonna get intimate with her. He's gonna kiss her, fine. Absolutely fine. Tyler, calm down. Not only is there, like, what, like, how many vaginas around, like, and, and tits, just tits, just tits everywhere. But, like, they're, they're doing the fucking song as well. Like, just calm down, mate. I can only concentrate on so many things. No. Don't reach out. Sorry, I can't show this. There's so many fucking genitals hanging about. way that I would be exactly the same, like, want a fucking song now? What do you mean? My penis is in it. Mind your business, mother. He's thrust... <laughs> What's that? Don't ask me. Oh shit, she's going. Fuck. 
Oh mate, she's getting she's getting full taint. Fucking straight anus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get your hands off her lads. <laughs> she is part of us now. What a weird day on set. What a weird excuse me. Lady sorry, again I can't show this. There's a there's an old lady pushing his arse cheeks in. He clearly wasn't doing the job, I'd be so I'd be so offended. I tell you what, as soon as someone starts doing that to me, I failed. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I tell you, man, there's so many genitals in this fucking show. Show? Film. I can't show any of this. A guy who struggled up and his penis is hanging down. There you go. Just as good as the image, isn't it? Oh, is he alive? What the fuck? Oh, it's the guy from the beginning. The guy who got away. Why would you present yourself? Damn. Yeah, they really packed all the batshit stuff in the, uh, the last half hour, didn't they? You can't speak. You can't move. All right? No, it's not all right, mate. We will today surrender nine human life. Shit. You will today be joined in harmony with everything. What do you mean everything? Toolbjorn, please step forward. I tell you, man, this is not a season of the Vikings that I like. We patiently wait your verdict. Am I missing something here? I'm trying to like, I'm trying to find a little bit of meaning. Is it, is it like an allegory for uh, reversal of power? Weird as the situation is for Florence's character. She has the power now. She is in a position of power over him. But yeah, you know, look, sometimes, you know, it's easy, it's too easy to, to read really hard into films like this. I think sometimes it's just a weird film. It's just a weird film, like, where these things are happening. At the end of the day, it's supposed to be entertaining in some way to the audience. That's the point of media. Or at least not entertaining, but engaging in some way. That's the thing, I don't know if, like, all the way through I have been engaged engaged necessarily i found the ideas intriguing but i've kind of been waiting for the like the um the mic drop it's culminating in in a place where florence's character is just this this queen that has no autonomy she's not her person anymore she's just part of this community whether it's like a hive mind or whatever it is boyfriend has been drugged and he wasn't even in charge of his own decision to have sex with the girl because he was drugged as fuck there's a lot to be said that a lot of his autonomy was taken from him in that moment. To the point that I'm not even sure that I can fully blame him for that act because he wasn't in charge of his whole faculties even though we'd seen him be an arsehole and he might very well have made that decision anyway. But the fact remains that he was absolutely under the influence of whatever the fuck they gave him. What is this? Oh, I'm still mad they killed the bear. But I feel like even from the beginning, when, when we when we started this whole journey off, I feel like this is where we were heading. And along the journey, we would get things that would be like, oh fuck, oh shit, oh god. And we kind of have, but uh, I don't know. I just feel like it's been a very steady journey and it's like, we've just, we've got there now. And it's weird and that's fine and whatever, but we haven't had much explained or, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I, I, I feel like there's something missing for me. And it's not that I haven't been entertained or intrigued. I have. I've been, I've been intrigued. I mean, look, I'm looking at this fucking thing and I, like, I'm intrigued. But I don't know a whole lot. Maybe I've missed something. Maybe this is whoever came up with the idea for this. Or this story maybe came from a community like this. And they heard something, like a story about a community. And they were like, right, I'm going to make that into a film. Look at how weird this is. Maybe that's all this film is meant to be. We just saw uh, Florence's character looking at this and knowing what he's getting. And he was very much the bad guy. And she was very much... The victim, I think, in that relationship. Maybe it's supposed to be a cathartic thing of like, well, she gets the last laugh almost, but she doesn't because she's not really autonomous anymore, right? I don't, I feel, I feel. But she's almost got her revenge or not revenge, but like she's, he's got his comeuppance because he was a bit of a fucking gaslighter, a bit of an asshole in that relationship. And he has not fared well for it. Whereas she is now the, 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 the queen, I guess. Yay. But is it yay? Is it really? And now they're getting better alive. Okay. The yellow triangle. Amazing. And I guess they all feel it. Sure. I think my best interpretation of the film, right, is she is free from a relationship and a situation maybe that was giving her a lot of grief and pain and in, in, in ways that were harming her even if she couldn't see it or couldn't admit it. We were seeing at the beginning of the film where she was like, she has so many barriers, so many um, things in the way of being herself or saying what she felt like she needed to say or should say or whatever it was. And I guess, yeah, that final ending of, and, and how that ended and, and the shot that it ended on was her being like, ah, 
which great cool i think this is very much more slow burn very much less i i felt very affected when i watched hereditary in a lot of ways uh, due to a lot of things where it was, whether it was human tragedy or, or supernatural horror or whatever it was i feel like there wasn't a lot of that in this and again we don't necessarily know like the film the, the, the name of the film is midsummer and all we know about midsummer is that fucking shit happens not a lot was revealed about this community and why they are doing this. It was all very unexplained. And I guess that's part of the mystery of the film. I just don't think that mystery element of it necessarily connected with me because I like to know, right? I like to, or, or at least have something a little bit more to go on. Like, I, I, I and hey, look, I, I appreciate a film that kind of leaves the audience guessing as much as the next person. Cause I, I do feel like that sometimes is utilized in a way that is interesting because you can talk about it afterwards and be like, what did you think? And it's like, oh, well, I thought this and well, I thought this and it's like, uh, I feel like this film airs on the side of like not giving you enough information to make, do you know what I mean? It makes it very vague to the point that you can kind of come up with anything you want, which I feel like is a too, I feel like it's too much room. Can you guys let me know? I mean, if I'm missing, if I've missed something or if I'm missing something, let me know down in the comments below. Did I enjoy the film or not? I did. I found it, like I said, I, I said throughout, I found it intriguing. Yeah, I, I, I would say that I don't think it delivered necessarily fully on that intrigue. For me personally, it gave me an answer as to what the film was about, which is good. Was that enough? Eh, from the, for the film and the intrigue and everything that was happening and everything they brought up and, and I think maybe even the potential, I would say, for, the, for what they started and planted along the way. No, I don't think so. I think they could have done more with it. I think they could have maybe gave us more answers. The guy who went out in the middle of the film, who went to the look at the book and take pictures and that kind of thing. I feel like he was the conduit for learning more about this culture, this community. And when he went out of it, we just stopped. That's that line of inquiry stopped. And I feel like that was more of one of the more interesting lines of inquiry. And for me, I would have liked to, 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 to have explored that a little bit more. And, and the film just did stop that off dead. And I think that was part of the point. Like it was to maintain that mystery and, and, and let the audience figure it out for themselves and all that. But I feel like for me, it was just erring on the side of that too much, you know, a little bit. I didn't dislike the film. I didn't love the film. It was fine. It was good. I, eh, I would have liked more. That's where I fall. You let me know where you fell. What did you think? Let me know down in the comments. I love to read that stuff. So tell me in a respectful manner, you little shit. If you did enjoy this and you're not subscribed, please do consider doing that. That does help me out a great deal. I've got some links down below if you'd like to support me. I've got some novellas that kind of stuff that you can buy on Amazon um, if you are so inclined. Other than that, thank you very, very much for watching. It's been a pleasure having you and hopefully I'll see you next time.